Yo, what's good, YouTube? My name is Yudi Uchiha, and I'm back with another Dragon Ball Sparking Zero video. And not a trailer reaction, trailer breakdown, whatever the case may be, but an actual discussion video. And as you can see by the title of the video, I'm here to talk about who is this secret playable character in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. So if memory serves me right, back when we first got the release date trailer for Sparking Zero, at the end is when they showed off the pre-order bonuses, which I'm sure you saw the screenshot already, but we got the pre-order bonuses of Gogeta and Broly, but also that secret playable character. And then alongside that, we got confirmation that we're getting Dragon Ball Super Superhero DLC alongside Dragon Ball Daima stuff. But the question I wondered from that very moment was, who is this playable character gonna be? And over on my Twitch channel, uh, on stream, I was having a discussion with my chat about who this secret character is. And I thought to myself, I gotta make this into a video. And it should have came out a long time ago, but now's a better time than never. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be giving you my most realistic picks to start off, and then I'll go slowly down the margin of who I think is a very big long shot, but I wanna see in the game anyways as the secret playable character. And in the comment section down below, you can let me know who you think is going to be the secret playable character. Again, it could be anywhere between realistic choices to long shots, just characters that you wanna see in the game that you think will more than likely not be in the game. But I'm gonna go ahead and start off my list with my most realistic pick, and that is Android 21. So, as you guys may or may not know, Android 21 was a Dragon Ball Fighters exclusive character created by Akira Toriyama, rest in peace to go, and yeah, exclusively made for DBFZ and has honestly become one of the most beloved characters in the series, which me personally, I don't know how y'all feel, but I love Android 21. She was my main in DBFZ for literally the entire way through. And yeah, I would love to see her in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero because she's made her way onto Dragon Ball Xenoverse, uh, even the mobile games. I'm pretty sure I think she's in Dokkan and Legends. And then as well, the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie, in case y'all haven't seen it, is two years old at this point. So I'm gonna jump into spoilers. But we pretty much get confirmation that Android 16's mother is Android 21 and her name is Vomi as well. So I say all that to say she's gotten a lot of love ever since she's came out in DBFZ to the point where, yeah, now she's part of the main canon story, whatever the case may be. And I almost forgot, too. I'm pretty sure she's also in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot as well. So, again, with all the different places that she's been added to outside of DBFZ, I don't see why she doesn't make it into Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. But yeah, since Android 21 first got debuted, I've always liked the design so much. I prefer the lab coat over the Majin, but I still like both a lot. I just prefer the uh, lab coat design because I think it looks cooler. But regardless, she's still cool anyway. She has a lot of really cool moves. She be stealing moves as well. She's part Majin as well, which is why we call her Majin 21. But yeah, man, really cool character that's gotten a lot of love throughout all the Dragon Ball media. And I don't see why she wouldn't make it into this game. But Again, if she's not the secret playable character, she might end up being DLC at some point, who knows? But I do think she is the most realistic choice given that she doesn't really fit into any of the trailers that have uh, released and are probably going to be releasing. Cause for example, all the trailers have been themed a certain way. There's a uh, uh, power versus speed, uh, swords versus fist, master and disciple. And now recently we got the Saiyan and Namek saga trailer, which means we're probably going to get the Cell and Boo saga trailer next and potentially some Dragon Ball Super uh, arcs as well. Who knows? I don't know how they're going to go about it, but I'm just going to assume they're going to be tackling the arcs and stuff like that. And I also still expect a movie trailer to come out at some point. I feel like movie characters are going to be in this game at some point, but we'll see. Now, these next few picks are going to be considered stretches. Uh, I'll get more into that as we go on with these picks, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you my second pick and that is Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Now I know I said I was gonna give you realistic choices and then going down, but I'm not gonna lie, the more I think about it now, the more I think the rest of these picks are going to be uh, a little bit of a stretch, a little bit unrealistic, but I got some unrealistic choices coming up real soon. But Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is my next pick and the reason why I pick him is because I have been on the heavy copium for Dragon Ball GT to be in this base game. And while I do think GT will be in this game at some point, just more than likely DLC, I've been really, really hoping and holding on to hope that <laughs> Dragon Ball GT will be in the base roster somehow, some way, whether it's just Super Saiyan 4, Goku and Vegeta and Gogeta. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is going to be my second pick for the secret playable character. Now, what made me go with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta? The reason why I went with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is because 
in the fusions trailer that we got we got confirmation that the gogeta that's in the game right now is dragon ball super gogeta which we all knew but it's in his name as well it says gogeta super and seeing that automatically made me think all right there's gonna be more than just one gogeta in this game potentially dragon ball z gogeta with fusion reborn or super saiyan 4 gogeta and he has like SS4 in his name or something like that. Another thing too, this is Budokai Tenkaichi after all. And if there's one thing I know, Budokai Tenkaichi fans know that Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is a big fan favorite. He was easily one of the best characters in that game without a doubt. And honestly, a lot of people would say like he was the most broken character in the game, which I know that there's the competitive scene for uh, Tenkaichi. I'm sure they would have some things to say about that, but easily in the in the hands of just anybody that's picking up the game, you're just like, wow, he does so much damage, he's so fast, he does this, he does that. Like, he had the complete overall package in terms of what a character can do in that game. And seeing that he is a fan favorite, and if GT doesn't end up making the base roster, at the very least, the secret playable character might just be him as a big surprise and stuff like that. But again, maybe a little bit of a stretch, but we'll see. Now, for my next pick, a little bit of a confusing one for sure but i want to go ahead and throw this out there because again i'm gonna throw in some unrealistic picks and stuff like that i think the next playable character will be beast gohan now again strange pick i know because we already have confirmation that we're getting dragon ball super superhero dlc and it would make more sense for him to be sold as a dlc character than to be a secret playable character but who knows i feel like him being the secret playable character would bring a lot of hype because a lot of people want to see Beast Gohan in a game. And I know he's in like Dragon Ball Xenoverse and stuff like that. But, you know, the next new big game that's coming out, I think a lot of people would be really excited to play him like day one when the game comes out. And if he's the secret playable character, I feel like that would make people lose their minds. And, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people like he's in, you know, Dokkan and Legends and stuff like that. But you know for a while he wasn't and a lot of people really wanted to see him in those games as well since the movie was out and or i just came out during that time and there was no uh playable beast gohan but that ended up changing real fast and a lot of people seemed very excited about his release outside of that though there's really not much else i have to say for beast gohan because well we only did see him in the movie for like five seconds but they can craft anything up and come up with something for him to be playable because again we already have confirmation that dragon ball super superhero dlc is going to be in the game and that means orange piccolo will come alongside him and again he could just be sold as dlc that would also be a smart move because again a lot of people would buy beast gohan but i can also see people freaking out and getting really excited about beast gohan being the secret playable character on day one i think that'd be really excited i would try him out 100 percent. i like beast gohan as well and yeah, that, that would make me pretty excited. So I, that, I, I kind of threw a long shot right there, but we'll see. Now we really start getting into long shot territory as I don't think these characters are even likely to make it, but I just want to go ahead and see it just because I'm not the only one that feels this way. I know a lot of people really want to see these characters as well too, but again, more than likely not, but it would be really hyped though. My next pick is going to be Shalit from Dragon Ball Legends. I think everybody, and I think... And I mean damn near almost everybody. I don't like to speak for people, but I, I feel like a lot of people share this common opinion. We would love to see Shalit in a Dragon Ball game outside of Dragon Ball Legends. I think Shalit's a pretty cool looking character. I like the little lore bits that I hear about him. Like, I don't really know too much about Dragon Ball Legends and stuff like that. I never really dabbled into that game that much. Uh, and I really didn't play through the story mode or anything like that. But the bits and pieces that I have heard about Shalit, I'm like, dude, this character sounds like he would be so sick in one of the Dragon Ball games. And, you know, I'm surprised he has not been in any content outside of Dragon Ball Legends. I don't know if it has to do with any like rights or whatever the case may be. But I mean, Android 21, a video game character. I know mobile game and video game is like two different things, but like Android 21 made it to stuff outside of DBFZ. I don't see why they can't do the same for Shalit. I think he'd be pretty cool, especially since he has like damn near every transformation as well. I'm pretty sure I've seen him go Super Saiyan God, and I don't know about Super Saiyan Blue, but I have seen him go Super Saiyan God, and I'm just like, I find that'd be pretty sick to see him in the game, not gonna lie. Give him all these transformations, give him his own original moveset and stuff like that. Like, I don't know. I feel like it'd be pretty cool to see. But yeah, show Shalit some love, man. I would love to play Shalit. I think a lot of other people would love to play Shalit as well. And yeah, we'll, we'll see if that ends up happening or not. But again, kind of a long shot. Now, my last two picks, I'm going to go ahead and knock out in one go. And I think you can take a good guess who these last two picks are going to be. They're 
way big long shots i don't think they're actually going to be in the game but be really nice to see though and these last two picks are gonna go ahead and be moro and granola from the dragon ball super manga now i know a lot of y'all feel similarly to how i feel but i would love to see the manga stuff make it into the video games whatever the case may be or finally get to see it animated if dragon ball super even decides to come back animated now i'm not gonna go into too much detail but apparently there's like a really big uh rights war going on between uh one of the dragon ball directors from toei and shueisha but if you know you know i'm not gonna jump into this but who knows if we'll ever get a dragon ball super anime again but regardless though dragon ball super manga has been some pretty good stuff and a lot of people would love to see it get animated but a lot of people would also love to see it in video games but as you may or may not know manga content has not gotten adapted not even in the mobile games like dokkan and legends and and those would have printed a lot of money if they were released in those games because a lot of people like those characters myself included i think moro is probably the best villain in dragon ball super easily and granola is also a really cool character i love his design i love his abilities like he's such a cool character it's like like he's such a cool character and moro's also a badass as well like it'd be really nice to see their abilities in action in the game how they would look and stuff like that because you know what i'm saying like i love me some manga i love me the pictures panels all that other stuff but seeing it animated is also really nice too that's why i love both anime and manga but it'd be really nice to see in the video games too because man these video games do a really good job of adapting the source material especially something like dragon ball fighters that was literally a love letter to the source material sparking zero seems to be headed in that same direction too but the unfortunate truth is that they more than likely will not make this game even though i will say this there are a lot of dragon ball super manga references in the game uh if you look at future trunks goku black uh and super saiyan blue vegeta in those games they have moves that are in the manga only they don't even do those moves in the anime so i'm just like all right if we're including manga stuff as well why don't we go ahead and do the game i know there's probably like a whole bunch of things behind the scenes that we don't know about that have to get you know approved and stuff like that but still like if we're doing moves then why not the characters too like i don't know you know what i'm saying but that's just me having copium that's just me like just hoping that things will happen just to you know make everybody happy you know what i'm saying but yeah that's it's a little bit of a long shot don't think it's actually happening but it'd be really nice to see those characters in the video games finally as people have been waiting for an anime to come back to see them animated still have not seen it who knows if we'll ever get it but at the very least if we could get them in the games too that'd also be really nice as well but that's going to wrap up the video i think any other pick that i would have for a character to make in the game i think either they're more than likely going to make the game or they're going to be dlc or they're not going to make the game at all who knows but this roster is massive already as it is and i gave you you know what i think is the most realistic choice gave you some you know hopium choices copium choices and some pretty big long shots that i don't think is actually going to happen but we'll go ahead and we'll see but that's going to do it for this video you guys be sure to look forward to some more sparking zero content as i'm definitely going to be reacting to the next few trailers might make some content on like tenkaichi 3 uh focused around sparking zero like having a little bit of a discussion video like this but playing tenkaichi 3 as well and be on the lookout because i will be playing the og dragon ball games i will be playing budokai and i will be playing tenkaichi over on my twitch channel um you know preparing for sparking zero and uploading those playthroughs here on the youtube channel as well as i'm really excited for sparking zero and i'm looking forward to grinding that game out posting a lot of content on it and all that good stuff you know what i'm saying i can't wait for this game so if you're looking forward to all of that be sure to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit the like button as it really really helps me out a lot i appreciate all the support that y'all show me and also look forward to some different type of content coming real soon as well outside of just my anime game stuff as well but with that being said, that's going to be the end of the video. Appreciate your support, and I hope y'all take it easy.